Hello everyone, so I have this nice robust gate which, well, right now I'm playing with it, so it's uh, sitting on my desk, connected to the power and with the sensors, and um, yeah, as I said that if I have it here already, I can explain a bit the, the programming because I couldn't find any decent or any uh, tutorial on this, so for me it was was a bit hard to, to learn it. It's not so complicated once you get it, but yeah. So uh, uh, I have the um, the manual here. Uh, so I am on page 13. So I have this uh, manual. I'm gonna go again to the page 13. Let's see. Quick, 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 quick. Seven, eight, eleven. All right, here. Uh huh. Okay, sorry for that. So, it explained us here that we will program this using these three keys here. Uh, open, stop and close. So, these keys, right? So, and it also says that it has uh, two levels of programming. And to program, to activate the function, we have these LEDs here. So, based on which one is uh, turned on or turned off, uh, we will have our function activated there. So, uh, let's try to do one thing, so to program one, one thing. Uh, what we have here is a table with uh, the functions. So, if L1 is open, then automatic closing function is activated and if we go down we will see that we will have instructions how to get to level one programming so you just press and hold the set button and then release it and then uh, you press and hold uh, actually you just press the arrows keys to until you get to your uh, function led and then you press the set to change the value so it's actually it's easy so you press uh, this one three seconds and then you navigate and then you press set to change the value turn it on or off so let's see here we have some uh, parameters for level two so we can adjust the pause time for the level one as we saw uh, earlier so for the automatic closing we can adjust the pause time uh, to 5 seconds, uh, 15 seconds or whatever. So what I would like to do is to activate this, the, level, the automatic closing, and then set it to 5 seconds. So uh, let me just see, press and hold for level 1 and for level 2. I want to see if they are okay. So for level 2, press and hold 3 seconds, release the set, press the navigate and then press again the set and hold it down and then wait for 3 seconds after we delayed representing the current level parameter modified will light up. Press OK, so we'll press again this one and then we navigate to move the LED to the representing parameter value. Okay, so it's slightly changed. So uh, once we get, so j just to to uh, recapitulate, so uh, we press the set three seconds, then we navigate, and then we press again this one until during the step. Okay, so we press this one while we are navigating to the function led that we want here so until we navigate to this value in my case where will be one i think yeah l1 and l1 so let's let's make a test here i'm gonna connect this to power actually it is connected yeah it's just nothing blink okay so 
keep this up uh, pressed three seconds one two three okay then I'm gonna move to my well no all right oh yes because L1 is blinking it means that he's the one which is actually active so I'm gonna press the set press the set again for three seconds okay now L2 is blinking L3 is blinking so I'm gonna go to L1 press the set now it's on and leave it for 10 seconds so automatic closing should be active now right and now let's get to level 2 so uh, as I said press this one okay stuff will start to blink and then keep pressed and navigate let's see you see now I'm L3 L4 so this is actually those are the durations so I'm gonna put it to five seconds because I want to see it fast okay release leave it for 10 seconds okay set all set so I have uh, L1 and L4 activated which means first level L4 deceleration and automatic closing so let's try to see how this works so I have my remote here uh, my gate is open if it's like this I think yes yes so let's see so I'm gonna now I'm opening it's opened let's wait five seconds and it's closing there it is it's closing <clears throat> I'm gonna wait a bit and when he feels that it's uh, near the end it will decelerate let's see decelerating and closed all right so I just showed you how you can program one function and you just do the same procedure with uh, the rest of the functions so I don't know I will just leave you to to choose what your options needs to be um, active or not so that's it thanks bye